when to transfuse platelets. Knowing when to give platelets is crucial in managing patients with low platelet counts to prevent bleeding issues. The decision to transfuse platelets depends on specific thresholds set for various medical procedures and conditions. This list of transfusion guidelines combines different recommendations from various sources. Always consult your local protocols or your local hematologist for specific advice. Transfuse if platelet count is below 10,000 per microliter. For stable patients without risk factors for bleeding, who undergo chemotherapy for hematological malignancies or after a hematopoietic stem cell transplantation, HSCT. For stable patients with solid tumors, excluding bladder, brain, or necrotic tumors, where higher targets may be advised. Transfuse if platelet count is below 20,000 per microliter. For patients undergoing chemotherapy or stem cell transplantation and have risk factors, such as fever, sepsis, minor bleeding, or DIC without bleeding. For critically ill patients without bleeding or risk factors, such as sepsis, renal failure, or medications. For inserting nasogastric tubes, giving intramuscular injections, and inserting central lines, in compressible locations like the internal jugular or femoral vein. For bone marrow aspiration or biopsy, and diagnostic endoscopic procedures. Transfuse if platelet count is below 30,000 per microliter. For bronchoscopy with alveolar lavage. For lumbar puncture in patients receiving chemotherapy. Transfuse if platelet count is below 50,000 per microliter. For most major surgeries, therapeutic endoscopic procedures, and vaginal or cesarean births. For lumbar puncture in patients without hematological malignancies. For critically ill patients needing invasive procedures, including subclavian central lines. Transfuse if platelet count is below 70,000 per microliter. For neuraxial anesthesia or analgesia. Transfuse if platelet count is below 100,000 per microliter. For neurosurgery or ocular surgery. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.